Hey guys, I welcome you to the next round of the Grotty F1 World Championship. We will have our next race on the Mirror's Edge track, located in the east of Los Santos. Uh, it includes parts of the legendary Cutting Coronas Grand Prix, uh, created by the well-known Bruffy. And uh, credits go to Ganiallo, who designed this track, which turned out to be really nice. I like it. So, we will race this race in GTA mode, as we always do, to be able to do the pit stops. And we will have 28 laps, with a mean lap time of 2 minutes and 20, roughly. Doing it with the Turismo, current daytime and current weather. Which you just have to believe me, because this is German. And uh, slipstream and catch up, uh, as always, off. On the right side you can see the layout of the track. Uh, for me it looks a bit like an elephant, but you can decide for yourself uh, what you interpret in this layout. I think it, yeah, it looks like an elephant, I think. But I still call it Mirror's Edge, so... Let's go onto the track and see what difficulties uh, wait for us on this one. So here we are on the main straight of the Grand Prix. Next to us is the racing official building. Where the race officials check if everybody is lined up properly in the grid. And the starting gate sets us off onto the first straight into the first turn quite difficult you have to decide which line you take if you go inside or outside depends on driving styles and here we are already on the cutting corners track difficult lamp pole there definitely want to avoid that don't hit it like I did <laughs> then this right hander left hander section and a very tough braking point here over that bump into the hospital section. You want to avoid this barrier here on the right side. And then onto the sidewalk, get some speed boost. Back onto the sidewalk again. Don't miss the checkpoint. And a little jump, also difficult. Because after this we have this high speed left hander. You want to stay on the inside there. If you don't, you will be dragged to the outside. Then this tricky part here, because this uphill section, definitely don't want to hit it like I just did. Uh, because you've just seen what can happen to you. Then a little barrier here to make the turn a bit more difficult. Into this fast sweeping right and left, have to avoid that barrier there as you just have seen. And those jumps here, you want to carry as much speed to the turns before to not hit that bump too hard. And here, also interesting part, do you take the outside line or do you take the inside line? Will be interesting to see who is taking what line. Down those jumps here onto the bridge, into this right hander. Not too difficult turn, but you have to get right. Here you want to stay on the inside. Because on the outside the road is a bit onto the side, so you don't want to get too far on the outside there. Little chicane I just passed, and here we're back onto the main straight, where you want to carry as much speed as possible. Here I'm showing you the pit stops of this track. Get your wrench and then left hander into the pit exit road. And you want to stop here, look if somebody is coming from there. Then you can leave the pits after you have waited 20 seconds. So I will try to show you a quick lap time here. Then we'll be talking about some regulations for this race that are different to the races we or different to the race we just had last weekend 
Uh, managed to avoid the light pole this time. And the right hander. Wanna stick to the curb there. Into the hospital section. Break. Try not to lose too much grip. And then don't cut this barrier too much. Go on to the boot, uh, sidewalk there. Go on to the sidewalk again. Jump this section. Go outside and stick to the inside. It drags you in so you don't lose the grip. And fly off the road there. Here you want to prepare to get a good entrance into this section. Don't jump too much here or you will be dragged into this barrier. Fast turn here. Left. Don't hit the barrier. And now those jumps. I try to stick on the outside so you don't lose your rear too much. Then outside line for me. Back onto the bridge. Here it just goes straight as fast as you can. Might want to go onto the sidewalk to have a better turn. I just missed it completely there. Then here, stick to the inside as I mentioned. Into this tricky turn here. That barrier is always coming very close. Right, left. Little chicane. And back onto the main straight here. So this is one lap and at the mirror's edge Grand Prix. Uh, we'll have our race on July 4th, Saturday at uh, 7 p.m. German time. So it's for me it's GMT plus one. Um, you don't want to get confused with the summer time in Germany, so I think it's uh, UTC plus two. But uh, check the forums if you if you're unsure what time the race starts. And now I want to talk about one more uh, regulation we will have for the race. So I ask you to remember this for the race. It is allowed to curb boost, so going onto the curb is fine and going off of the curb. So this, as I just showed, is completely fine to do in the race, but what I'm gonna show now is not allowed. I'm not allowing curb surfing. You're not allowed to do this because uh, we, will, uh, we still want to have a race and uh, we don't wanna make ourselves ridiculous. We are a racing crew and uh, I think curb boosting is fine. It's an element of the game, but please don't, uh, don't overdo it. Don't curb surf. Uh, if I see somebody curb surfing during the race or any race official, you will be handed one warning. If you do it again, you will get a 10 second uh, stop and go penalty into the pits. So, I ask everybody not to uh, curb surf. Other than that, uh, no changes to the regulations. You can see them on the forums. And um, I'm looking forward for this race. I think the scenery is very nice. The track has a great flow. And we will see who will decide this race for themselves. Can Arkin win this race again and uh, create a bigger gap to myself? Or might even somebody else win the second race? We will see. So guys, take it easy and uh, I'll see you on Saturday. <laughs>